Garth MD Trip Creek. So you're joining me on Puppy Watch, huh? I see. I'm just sitting here watching last year's Easter puppy videos, considering we're getting ready to have some more Easter puppy videos from Piper. So I guess, I don't know, what do you, what do you want to see? Are you wanting to see Piper and the puppy set up? We don't have puppies yet, but they're close. Maybe tonight, maybe a couple more days. So tonight's Monday night. The puppies are due when? Tuesday? I think they're due tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow, but Piper got awfully whiny tonight, so not sure. So puppy watch it is for me. So Mama Llama's at work tonight. Kids are off at the aunt's house and at grandma's house. So I'm kind of got, I don't know, about six days almost of no toddlers. But odds are, that's going to get interrupted here very soon with puppies. But. So Mama and Llama is at work tonight. And the kids are up at Grandma's and the aunt's house for the night. So tonight it's just me and you. And this is my first drink. So it's just me and you all. So. I guess what I, we can do in this video is we can take a couple of minutes and talk about what do we do to prepare for puppies. Because, yeah, they're coming. They're either going to be tonight or tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. Piper isn't really telling me what her biological clock is doing. She's keeping that to a secret. Hi, toy. Bye, toy. So what we have learned is having the puppies here in the basement is really kind of nice. And it's really kind of nice for the first few weeks. We have the puppy palace. It's all set up. It's ready to go. But if Piper's out there and we know puppies are coming, but we're not sure. Are they coming tonight, today, whatever? You know, what do we have to do? We got a baby monitor that we keep an eye on her with. That's helpful. But... I don't want to be stuck out there in the puppy palace from midnight to four o'clock in the morning. That would suck. So by having them down here, we have the kitchen, we have TV, we have our fridge, we have everything we want and everything we need set up here. There's a few things you're wanting to do if you're going to do this yourself. There's some steps we've taken because pup whelping puppies is gross and disgusting. So we have, we've taken steps to mitigate that. Keep that to where it's not such a big deal. It's kind of nice down here because, you know, it's cold and wet outside. I don't want to have to be running back and forth between Puppy Barn and here all hours of the night. I got my fire. I got my TV. I got food. I got drink. I'm set. And most importantly, I got a bathroom. I don't have that in the Puppy Barn. You want to sit there and well puppies for several hours and hang out with the mama without a pup, without a bathroom? Mm. It sounds rough. So... And it's also kind of nice when the toddlers do come home, the girls are want to be able to see the puppies a lot. So that's why we set up the pen the way we did. And the pen, you, you want to see the pen? Well, it's just right there. I mean, literally from here at the couch, I can kind of just be like, oh, there, there they are. They're, they're just right there. You want to see? All right, let's show you the pen. Oh, hi, Piper. Good girl. I know. I said, good girl. All right, so Piper's due date is actually tomorrow night, so which means they could come within the next 48 hours, 72 hours, pretty easily. I don't know if they're tonight or not, but we're set up. This dog bed, it's a trash dog bed. One of the things we like to do is every Black Friday, we buy three or four dog beds, and the worst of the dog beds in our house gets donated to this if she actually starts having puppies on this thing it's getting thrown away if she tears it up because she's nesting it's getting thrown away moral of the story it's getting thrown away we're not keeping this dog bed after this episode the dog bed does not stay in here once the puppies get here but as probably any pregnant woman can attest and no man can attest to right before your due date women seem to be miserable and uncomfortable and I'm assuming Piper is probably feeling the same way with her big belly. 
We did not ultrasound her this time, so we don't have a really good guesstimation how many puppies we're going to have. Is she going to have four, eight, ten, twelve? I don't know. So leave a comment in the comment section on what your guess is. But she's getting really big, so she's starting to bag up with milk, so she could have them tonight. Most likely it'll be tomorrow. But the whelping box, what do we got here? We have an old rug out of one of the bedrooms upstairs. It's starting to get frayed on the edges. So it was time to replace it. So we cut that in half and it's a sacrificial carpet. It's going to get thrown away here in a couple of days and the other half will come in. We have the dog bed that's getting thrown away. The whelping box, it's one by twelves. That's about a four by six, four by eight is usually what I like to build them as. And it's got a two by four rail with about a three inch space. So the boards are laid horizontally and there's about three inches underneath them to the floor. What that does is it gives a space for the puppies to actually get in and mama's not gonna lay on them and squish them. So if she is laid up against the whelping box, they kind of have a little tunnel to escape in. I have two heat lamps, neither of them are plugged in. I will probably have both of them plugged in when the puppies get here and we will assess the temperature of the room if we need both of them or we can unplug one of them. It kind of depends on how warm and how warm I'm keeping the box and how the puppies are doing. I set this pen up a little weird with the intention of there's food and water for her. She has room to get out away from the puppies when she wants. I can set up a chair right here so I can actually be in here with her but not in the whelping box. Sometimes I like being in the whelping box, sometimes I prefer to be out of it during the whelping process. But I also have this little viewing area right up against the whelping box. The reason I did that is I want the twins to be able to come down and see the puppies in a couple of days when they get home, but I do not want them in here for probably the first four or five weeks. I want the puppies up, moving, healthy, and good to go long before the girls get to come in here with them. The puppies will stay down here for probably the first three or four weeks and then we'll move them to the puppy barn. Basically, once we get to the point where they start to smell, they're going out to the puppy barn. If you have a heated garage, you can make something like that work too. Um, but I like having the puppies here in the house at least for the first while so I can check on them several times a day and it's just super convenient having them down here. I have a great big tarp laid over my floor, underneath everything, wrapped up the couch, wrapped up behind me. Because whelping puppies is not always pretty. Sometimes there's grossness that gets flung everywhere. I don't want it on the back of my couch. I figure the cabinets, they're far enough away, but they're sealed wood, so if we do get a little blood or goo or anything nasty on them, we can wipe them down with Clorox wipes pretty easily. But that's about it at this point. So that's the other nice thing about our current setup in our house is we also do have a back door right here off this basement living room. So we're not having to run a fully pregnant dog up and down the stairs every time we want to let her out because she needs to go to the bathroom. So let her just open the door. She's in the backyard. Works well. With her also down here, it does keep her isolated from the rest of the dogs. We could just close the door at the top of the stairs because she gets really defensive when Rolo, the, you know, the sire of the puppies, starts sniffing around the outside of the cage or any of the other dogs start sniffing around. They, she doesn't like it. So, and I'm not going to make her want to like it. I'm fine with her having that protective instinct. I think that's probably a good thing. She's not aggressive at all towards us or the kids, but she does not appreciate the other dogs being near where she's getting ready to have puppies. So I'm fine with that. I don't see an issue with that at all. Do you? Yeah, no, you're a good girl. But yeah, so I guess, let me know in the comments how many think you, how many, bleh, 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 words are hard. So let me know in the comments how many puppies you think she's gonna have and how long it's gonna be from the time of filming this video to them actually coming. Is it gonna be just a couple hours? No, you're not nearly that needy. 
when she's within a couple of hours, she's like crawling on me and whimpering and whining and just so needy, needs so much love and affection. And that's also the other nice thing about this is I do think we're a, probably another day or two away from having puppies. So by having her whelping box down here, it means I can maximize the time of her being out of her pen and being with us and us giving her lots of attention because she is a needy dog, which is fine. It's okay. She's so needy when she's getting ready to have puppies. But at the same time, it's really nice because I can just lock her up and I can go do something. If I need to go actually like check the horses or anything like that, I can lock her up. I know she's safe. And if she starts having puppies before I get back, she's in the safest, best environment I can provide for. Her. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I like having the wealthy and the puppies down here in the basement is because she's in the house. She's with us. That's her natural environment. And really until they're probably three or four weeks, they will stay down here. And I also, I don't know if I filmed it or not. I'll take a picture of it. But in case you can't see it, on top of the dragon's cage, I have one of the baby monitors for the twins. I have it setting up there and I have it poking down. So last night, again, Mama Llama was at work, so I was home alone by myself. So I had the baby monitor sitting on Mama Llama's pillow, Tur volume turned all the way up. And so every time I woke up in the middle of the night, I could just look over and I could see, yep, Piper's there. Nope, I don't see puppies. She's laying, she's good. But my hope is if they do come while I'm sleeping, well, then I have the option of, I could sleep down here tonight or tomorrow night, depending on when I think they're coming. And if I'm sleeping in my bed, then hopefully I will hear her start making more of a racket because she's not quiet when she first starts having puppies. It's She says it's a traumatic experience. I think she's a drama queen, but I'm a guy, so I don't know what we're truly putting her through, but I know she's a good mama. And yeah, I have high hopes for her and I don't expect anything, but I do expect them to come at some point tonight because I'm home by myself. So of course they're gonna come tonight because she has a tendency to have the puppies when it's just her and I. And yep, and we muddle through and it's okay. But I'm Ben with MD Triple Creek. I hope you got something out of this video. Uh, please click like, subscribe, all that other good jazz. I'm sorry to put these on Rumble, so hope you're enjoying them there too. And yeah, we'll be putting up videos when the puppies are born. And I'll probably do what I've done every other litter of. I will do a weekly video of just the puppies of as they're growing and progressing. And So if you're interested in any of these puppies... Or if you're curious of what these puppies should look like, go look at some of our other older videos. See kind of what they look like at different ages. And if you are interested, email us at mdtriplecreekranch at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook. You can private message us there. Or, yeah. So, I don't know. Is there anything else, Piper? Do you have anything you want to say? Yeah, you're telling me you're miserable, aren't you? That's what your eyes are telling me. I know. Just another day or two. You're almost there. Then the work begins, huh? Yeah, I know. But you're such a good mama. You're going to do so good. All right, so, again, I'm Ben and Piper. Catch you on the next video, I guess. Yeah, nothing to say, huh? Not going to add anything to the video? Just going to stare at me. All right. Well, time for me to get the laptop out and edit this thing. Yeah, you want freedom while I do that? Okay, I'll just leave your pen door open. You can come and go. You're going to crawl up on my lap, though, aren't you? No puppies on the couch. You've done that before. I want you to have your puppies in your puppy pen, not the couch. Yeah, those eyes are telling me, <laughs> F you, you're going to do it, aren't you? You're going to try to have the puppies on the couch again, aren't you? Please don't. It's a mess. It's gross when you...